Don't you guys think it's a little weird that I'm starting off this video and then you island it up day 20? Well, I think it's pretty weird. I never thought this day would come. But I'm not gonna go on talking about this video yapping. In this video, we're gonna be getting the shark anchor sword. So if you don't know too much about it, basically, you gotta grind and sell your soul to get it. At least that's from what I know and what I've heard. So we have to go actually all the way over here in this little main island area and go through this doorway. There's this person here named Shark Hunter. In order to get the shark anchor sword, you're gonna have to craft three items the tooth necklace, the terror jaw, and this locked item here. To get this locked item unlocked, you have to do these two first. So if you take a gander, I don't have any of these things unlocked. So this is gonna be a problem. We're gonna go ahead and go through it all together to show you guys how to even get all these items and how to unlock the shark anchor sword. We're gonna be doing it together, boys. Basically, we're gonna have to be going on the sea and hunting down a bunch of sharks. And in order to do that very well, we need to go ahead and get a nice luxury boat from the luxury boat dealer. Let's get something fast like the miracle or we could also get something even cooler like the centennial which is a big giant floating boat too so we're gonna go ahead and take this bad boy out on a spin and actually before i even do that i should probably switch my fruit to a better fruit to kill sharks in the ocean the best fruit i would say is probably blizzard or even magma for this situation with that being said let's go ahead and go out here and go to the shark infested waters we have to go behind this island and go towards these rocks as you can see now the boat is starting to fly soon enough we'll run into a shark event or something at least i hope that's what happens i'm not sure but it's pretty random it's starting to get dark now. I don't know if the sun's going down or an event's about to happen. But either way, my cheeks are quivering. It's starting to get dark and scary. So as I was looking around, I noticed the compass. It says medium over here on the left. And if we get closer, it's saying high. Does that mean we have a high chance of running into like a shark or an event or something? I have no clue, but this bar keeps getting stronger and more scarier. Hopefully that means we're getting close to something and we're learning these new things together, boys. The compass just changed to extreme now. That means we're getting closer to dangerous waters and probably a shark event. What the heck are these things chasing me? There's like these fishes chasing the boat. What the heck? Hold on, let me try to fight these fishes. I can kill them, but do they give me any drops? I've never seen these before. Oh my gosh, they are kind of clapping me. But luckily for me, I have the shark race, so I don't take any damage from the water. These things hurt. Okay, I killed them and only got some XP. No drops from them. But the compass bar is still extreme, which is a good sign. We gotta go ahead and continue and keep getting closer. The compass just changed to crazy now. It's purple. This is gonna be terrifying. Oh, what the heck? Boats just spawned in right here. Let me go ahead and try fighting these boat guys. Maybe they give me like some sort of drops. This is like a brand new boat raid or something. They all have their own individual levels, but they keep targeting my thing. They killed my boat? Bro, they destroyed my boat that fast? Okay, I guess I gotta go out here without a boat. Our compass bar is almost maxed out, and I notice there's just a big giant rock here. Just kind of out of place. That's a little worrisome. Boys, the compass is about to go off. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is happening? Everything is dark. Boys, what am I supposed to do here? This is terrifying. Level six and it's question mark now. The compass changed to a bunch of question marks. I can't see anything and I don't have a boat. My camera keeps shaking and twisting all around. Whoa, I ended up finding another boat and oh my gosh, I am getting absolutely destroyed by three sea beasts right now. This is good because we need to fight all three of these guys. Apparently if we beat them, we might be able to get some drops from them. And of course I'm using the blizzard fruit because this gives me the best damage out of all of them. I don't know what I'm fighting, but I think this is way more than three. There's like four sea beasts here. I'm gonna go ahead and awaken against some sea beasts because I'm gonna need it. These guys are so tanky. How much health do they even have? I can't even see. I just keep getting smacked to the floor. Let's go ahead and god human up into the sky and check out their health bars. They're still at half health? This is ridiculous. I killed a bunch of sea beasts and I got something called an electric wing, but not much other thing. There's still some other sea beasts here that I have to kill though. I didn't kill all three of them. I just got an item drop called the top hat. What the heck? I don't think that's part of update 20. That might be another thing, but I got some more electric wings from killing these little fish thingies that are also trying to terrorize me as I am killing these sea beasts. Leave me alone. And still after all that, we didn't get much progress done. As I am trying to get closer to the danger zone, these electric bolts keep trying to snipe me. Oh, bro, as I say it, bro, you gotta be kidding me. You guys saw that? I caught that in 4K. These lightning bolts hate me. This is probably gonna be one of the hardest swords I am gonna ever obtain. Every time I just try to drive around, these lightning bolts target me. Oh my gosh, we ran into another sea beast event. They're gonna kill my boat again. I guess I have no other choice. 
boys. We'll just fast forward this part because this is gonna be annoying. Boys, I think we missed one critical part of this whole thing. We actually had to go back to the island and talk to Spy up here. We have to ask him for some clues. And he's gonna give us a bunch of random nonsense, but we're actually gonna have to bribe him with fragments. And we pay him about 1,500 fragments. He's gonna tell us a bunch more nonsense, but we're waiting for a special message. Let's go ahead and keep bribing him. He will say something about the Leviathan being out there. And there we go. He says the Leviathan is out there. Go find it before it causes more destruction. So that's our cue to go back into that danger zone and go find him. And as I was exploring over here more, there's like some abandoned pirate ship looking things over here, but they keep targeting my boat. I need them to back off. They cannot destroy my boat. I need this boat. Please don't destroy it. Can I destroy these boats faster or do they not die? There we go. I got some fool's gold. Okay, that's perfect. I needed some of this also to craft as well. There's some more boats over here. Leave my boat out of this, bro. We're gonna have to go ahead and deal damage with this. Bro, better not destroy it. There we go. We went ahead and took out the other boat and I got some more fool's gold. And now another CP spawn, bro. I don't got time for the CP. We gotta get out of here fast. We're gonna get our boat destroyed. So as I was going around more to find the terror shark or whatever, these mini sharks showed up and I think they might have some drops. Yeah. Yes, I got two shark tooths. We're actually four of them. This is perfect. I'm getting all the items I need that I'm gonna use to craft the anchor sword. Okay, guys, so I ended up losing my boat, but I found a terror shark, and this is like a boss fight. I have to defeat this guy in order to get, like, the parts I need for the anchor sword, and oh my gosh. Dude, he just half helped me with, like, one ability. Oh my gosh, bro is comboing me right now. This is scary. Can I combo this shark with, like, god human? Bro, I could combo a shark with god human? Bro, I'm about to show this guy what my bounty hunting skills are looking like. Bro is not gonna stand a chance. There's a problem. Can't really stun the shark and he hurts really, really bad. This is not good, boys. He can kill me right here and I do not want to die. We're going to have to fly away. Oh my gosh. Bro, he almost one shot me. We're gonna have to get some airtime. Cannot stay down here. Oh my gosh! Why is fighting a shark harder than fighting a lot of players? This is not normal. Oh my gosh. I am one HP away from dying. Okay, we are so dead here. Bye bye. It looks like we found another terror shark after a long time of searching, but I brought a whole squad with me, so we're gonna absolutely destroy it this time. There is no more funny business. I am going to destroy this terror shark. I'm getting my revenge, bro. We're making sushi out of him. Oh my gosh, he is getting melted so fast. I don't think I've ever seen a terror shark get destroyed this hard that fast. We need to go ahead and deal as much damage as possible so we can guarantee we get the drop from it. And there we go. We got a mutant too. That's only one terror shark though because we're gonna need a lot more terror sharks. After getting a revenge on the terror shark, we could finally go back to the Tiki Island shark hunter guy and talk to him. Then we were able to craft our first item called the tooth necklace, which I believe probably it has a higher chance of attracting more sharks. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that and I wonder if it's an activatable item or do you have to wear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this while I go out and hunt for some more terror sharks because we still don't have the items needed to craft the other things such as the terror jaw. We need two more teeth and the eyes. Oh yeah, and we finally ran into another terror shark after a long time of hunting, but for some reason I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's right over there probably by that giant group of boats. Let's go ahead and try to destroy him. It looks like there's not much people here though. It's just a bunch of empty boats. So we're gonna try to deal as much damage as we possibly can. This terror shark's trying to clap me. The terror shark's about to die. Do we get any good drop? We only got a mutant tooth, but we do need the eyes as well. We ended up fighting a third terror shark. There's so many terror sharks that we have found already. Okay, please don't kill me. I am like one shot away. They're targeting me, bro. <gasps> No way! Finally, after a lot of grinding, we got the terror eyes and the mutant tooths like always. This took about like two days, guys. If you guys don't know, I also had to live stream this because it was taking forever. So I decided to share the journey with you guys. So now we're gonna go back to our spawn area and finally trade in the terror eyes. So if you guys don't know, also on my live stream, I ended up crafting the second item known as the terror jaw already. So I don't have to craft another one of those. But that means we did unlock the third item, which was locked before which is the monster magnet and we need to craft this bad boy here as you guys can see i have slayed a lot of monsters look at how many resources i have stacked up so with that done now let's go ahead and activate our monster magnet we finally have it crafted so now if we look at our item we have it right here now in order to get the shark anchor sword we must go back to the ocean and find another terror shark but with this magnet it guarantees we get it after slaying it i forgot to mention this very important part earlier you can also get the shark anchor without getting all those unlocked but it is very 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 rare but now that we finally have crafted the third locked item we gotta go back out to sea and slay our final last terror shark somebody else found a terror shark but i'm not 100 percent sure if i get the drop because they might not have the monster magnet like i do there's only one way to find out let's just hope i get the shark anchor from him 
All right, time to die, Terror Shark. Please give me the drop I've been begging for days now. I'm gonna go ahead and God Human, and we actually got more Terror Eyes than a Mutant Tooth. And as I was talking, another one decides to spawn in the same exact spot. Okay, I guess we're gonna mess this one up too. Hopefully, we do get something from this one. This one's getting absolutely melted super fast. I just hope it gives us our anchor that we've been needing. And no, we actually didn't get the anchor. So now I have to fight another Terror Boss with 200,000 HP all by myself. So, uh... I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try my best to stay alive and fight a max level boss. Give me the hook, Terror Shark. I know you want to, bro. All right, now he just gotta stand in that magma and he should be dead. Finally, we killed him. Did I even get the anchor hook? What the heck? I didn't get anything. There we go. We got a message at the top saying your monster magnet has attracted an irregular boss. Let's go ahead and uh, hopefully be safe up in the sky here and try that method one more time. We can see on him that he's got a big old anchor on his back. So this is for sure going to give us the anchor. If it doesn't, I am so done with Roblox now. Not really Roblox, just blocks for it at this point. We should be dealing a lot of damage, but for some reason he's chasing everybody else. The one time I want him to stand in my damage, he doesn't. Bro is chasing that one poor guy over there. There we go. Now he's standing in all my damage. I'm over here, Terra Shark. Yeah, stand in all that magma. Perfect. We are melting it with so much damage now, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep my distance as much as possible. The further I am, the better. He's chasing this Buddha user. Bro, don't run away! I am asking to get my butt whooped by this shark if they keep chasing him around like that. If you notice, the shark's not using any abilities. He's only trying to target me, but he also chases anything that gets close to him. Alright, shark, I gotta finish you off and get that anchor on your back. It only took me, like, three days now, which is ridiculous, but you better give me this anchor. There we go. He is getting melted with all that damage. And there we go. Item drop. Shark anchor. Finally. Oh my gosh. Okay, we could finally go back to the safe zone now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory. Where is the shark anchor? Oh, it's right there. Bro, this is only a legendary sword? You got to be kidding me. This was harder to get than Cursed Dual Katanas. I'm not even gonna lie. I think getting Cursed Dual Katanas was like a hundred times easier than getting the stupid shark anchor. But uh, let's see how it swings. If we go ahead and like smack this. Oh, this thing swings really, really slow. We do have two abilities called the Typhoon Toss and the Armor Breaker, which we're gonna have to go ahead and level up to show you guys what it does. And finally, I hit Mastery 350, which means we are able to test out the next ability called Armor Breaker. Let's go ahead and test it on this NPC right over here. I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but- Oh! Yo! A pickup and a slam down that does 5,000 damage? That is insane. Compared with this, I think that is an insane combo you can easily do. And the damage is really high. I feel like you could probably start off this combo by doing something with the Z ability, then using the X ability like that, and then trying to god human them if you know where they're gonna land. Or even Electric Claw would be really good for this as well. I can probably see a lot of portal users using this for the combos because, I mean, just look at this again. All you have to do is throw them, then land that combo on them. I really wonder what this sword would look like if we did some bounty hunting with it. But personally, I think I'm gonna save that for another video for another day. But if you guys enjoyed watching me suffer trying to get this shark anchor, go ahead and leave a like and sub because I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Peace.